A public inquiry will be held into the actions of Sam El Jamel, the brain surgeon who harmed dozens of patients at NHS Tayside, leaving some with life-changing injuries. Today's announcement in Parliament follows a series of investigations by BBC Scotland News and a long-running campaign in which almost 150 former patients of his called for the inquiry. Our social affairs correspondent Lucy Adams has more. I've been following Jules Rose's quest for answers for more than five years. How did it go? What happened? Getting a public inquiry. <laughs> and finally, there's cause to celebrate. How do you feel? Um, it's mixed emotions. I'm, I'm obviously I'm really happy and I'm really, really relieved on behalf of the patients because we've been campaigning for this for so long. I first spoke to her in 2018 for a BBC Disclosure documentary that revealed serious claims against Sam El Jamel. We discovered the former head of neurosurgery at Ninewells Hospital in Dundee had harmed dozens of patients but was allowed to continue operating until he was suspended in late 2013. Some of his patients were left with life-changing injuries like Jules. He had removed the wrong part of her body. So, we need a public inquiry. Why? Since then, pressure has been mounting on the yes. government, including a police investigation, several reviews, and protests from patients calling for a public inquiry. But until today, the Scottish government had rejected their calls. The government has decided to commission a full independent public inquiry. This comes after very careful consideration of the recent due diligence review, which said concerns about Professor El Jamel, Jamel were not acted on with the urgency they deserved. Those who've been behind the patient's campaign say today's announcement is long overdue. I'm absolutely delighted that uh, there has been this change of heart from the Scottish Government, but I think my overriding sense of um, emotion about this is one of relief because you know, I've been in this parliament uh, for 10 years now uh, looking at the casework that's come forward from these uh, individual patients and I, I just think it's, you know, it, it's harrowing every time I look at these case notes. Just gently, gently. But some of the patients are too badly injured to celebrate. John Gillespie was operated on by Mr El Jamel in 2013, but the surgeon left a piece of metal inside his body which could have had disastrous consequences when he was later sent for an MRI scan. The radiographer went, picked up the phone and phoned someone in Edinburgh. He said, uh, he came back and he says, bye. John's condition has deteriorated since we filmed with him this summer. He wants the health board held to account. NHS Tayside says it will cooperate fully with the inquiry and it's already apologised to patients. Jules knows the patients may have to wait many more years for answers. This is the start of the real journey now. This is the start of getting the care and support that the patients need. Lucy, why has it taken so long for the government to commit to an inquiry, a public inquiry? Well, when we started investigating more than five years ago, neither the Scottish Government nor the Health Board was particularly keen to talk about this surgeon who'd once been so senior. And the patients felt then that the government really just wanted them to go away and stop asking questions. One of the problems was that Mr El Jamel had seemingly vanished. Then we discovered that he's in Libya, he's still operating as a surgeon. But the Scottish Government still said they would not agree to a public inquiry. But we've kept breaking stories and the patients and some of the MSPs have kept campaigning and now they feel today vindicated that they kept pushing for answers and they're hopeful too that in future Mr El Jamel could potentially be extradited from Libya. Thanks very much. Lucy Adams.